My name is Robert Meeks and I'm the owner operator of Meeks Studios in downtown Riverside, California. So I got started in film, gosh, I was 10 years old, I believe, and I was at my church, um, Harvest Christian Fellowship at the time. And you know, they pass out those weekly bulletin pamphlets and uh, I was sitting next to my mom. I still remember it like it was yesterday, it was crazy. Uh, she looked down at me, she smiled really big, and she said, look, and it said, video volunteers wanted. And uh, I grew up loving the movie Hook. I watched it on repeat. It's probably the first film that ever got me like really intrigued in storytelling. And I knew like there was just something about it that, that really pulled me in. I didn't know what that was, I was a child. And uh, so she showed me that and she said, you love movies so much, why don't you go give this a shot? Keep in mind, I'm, I'm 10 years old, I don't even know like barely how to do anything on my own. You know, she still feeds me every meal. And um, so after church, she takes me up there and I meet this gentleman named Ken Sanders. Come to find out, uh, I just had like this God-given natural inclination for, for filming. And that day he put me uh, on the tape deck recorder for any of the younger crowd watching this, they don't even know what that is. <laughs> but uh, it was back when Betacam SP was a thing. So I'm on, I'm on the tape deck recorder and he tells me, I want you to roll five seconds of black, rewind five seconds of color bars, and then I want you to stop it at zero, 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 zero. And I'm like, I don't even know what this means, but he explains forward, fast forward, roll back, rewind, push in, stop, pull back, and it's play. So I do those things and push in, and I stopped it dead on zero, 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 zero. And I just like had this weird feeling like, this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I was just, I, from that moment on, man, I was hooked. And so I continued on doing that. Um, I, I went the following Sunday, and the following Sunday, and the following Sunday. I did that for about a year, then they asked me to come do more there, and so I was there Sunday night, Sunday morning, Friday night, Wednesday night, and I was just doing all of these different tasks, learning tons of stuff. Ken was my first mentor in, in video, and I learned a ton there. And then uh, 2009, uh, or 2008 actually, the, uh, the Canon 5D Mark II and the, the Nikon D300S came out, and it was the first DSLRs that had video in them, HD video. Brand new, you know, no one had seen any technology like this before. You either had a video camcorder or you had a still photography camera. Now the two worlds collided. So coming from the film side of things, the, the business realm was completely foreign to me. I knew nothing about starting my own business, right? Um, but for a while there, I was, I was working with a good friend of mine who also took me under his wing and his name's Ali Mazzari. Um, he taught me just copious amounts of things about business and entrepreneurship. And, and he told me like day one, as soon as I started working for him, he said, by the end of working with me, you're going to be a serial entrepreneur. And if you didn't, I failed as your employer. And right now, moving forward, working under me, I want you to stop thinking like an employee and start thinking like an employer. And that really resonated with me, dude. Like, I, I can't tell you how much that meant to me because I had been working for people for years before that where I was just an employee to them. That's it, I was just a, another number. Um, no one really recognized that I had a talent or that I served them with uh, more than just being behind a register or on the sales floor. And Ollie really taught me that whatever you do that you love, whatever you're passionate about, if you turn those things into a business, it's just gonna open up other things to do as business that feed into the, all the different facets that you do love. And that's one of the biggest takeaways that I, I learned from him and, and shadowing his uh, entrepreneurship. So with that, I, I turned my film love and I turned my love and passion that I have for film into a business by opening a production company. 
soon after that, I had the opportunity to, to get this place, which I'm still just completely mind blown that I have. Um, God just threw this in my lap, man. I was, I was downtown with a friend, Mark Ortega, and we were looking for a place to film something for his business. We were looking for an office space. This was during COVID, so people just kept canceling on me. And so I tried to book a place down here. They ended up canceling on us two days before we were gonna film. So I wanted to just meet them face to face and be like, hey, I'm, I'm just trying to book this, this facility, your facility, to do a quick shoot. It's gonna be like two hours, there's only two of us. This, we don't have like a film crew, we don't have grip and electric, we don't have a production company coming here. It's just the two of us, we're just making something simple. So we come down, we park across the street from the place and get out in their parking lot and, and we look across the street and there's a now leasing sign right in front of us. And I'm like, I gotta call this place. So we call the owners there. Long story short, he comes downstairs, shows me the warehouse and I, I just knew like, this is my place, this is my studio. So right when you come into Meek Studio, you're gonna see our lounge, and that's a perfect place where you, your cast, your crew can take a lunch break or uh, do any meetings that you want. And uh, all of that and all of the set design here that you see was done by Denny Fernandez, and you can check her out online. Um, her Instagram handle is Den the Realtor. Um, absolute asset to the studio. And uh, then, so the lounge is there. And then we also have a hair, makeup, and wardrobe room. So you know what that's like. And then right next to that, you walk up our little ramp and that's where our psych wall room is. So we have a 10 foot by 10 foot by 12 foot white psych. And that's where you can do any of like your e-commerce photo shoots or your fashion shoots, any of your portraits, headshots, any of those kinds of things. And, and also video as well. Next to that, we have our kitchenette, so you can have your snacks and do craft services over there, have your lunch served there, whatever you need. Coming outside of there and past our lounge, you walk into our main stage, and that's where we are right now. We have a brick set that's kind of like a Brooklyn loft, so really big window, a bunch of different backdrop options for that window. Over next to this brick set behind me, you'll see a full living room set that can be a master bedroom, that can be whatever you can imagine, we can make it happen. Next to that, we have another smaller set. That's usually our bedroom set. Uh, we just shot a film here this past weekend. We converted that into a therapist's office. Right where I'm sitting here on the brick set. We're currently in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, if we turned the camera around, you'd see what I was talking about. But um, this space has been transformed over and over again. It's been a police station. It's been a full-blown gym. Uh, one of my actors has called it Mequinox before, and I thought that was really clever. So I might get that big neon sign on the wall. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been a, a loft apartment. It's been a creative agency. Anything you can think of, we can make it happen here. Riverside, honestly, hit me up, reach out anytime. I'm here to help you guys. I wanna be part of your experience in production and cinematography and live broadcasting and podcasts and whatever it is that you wanna get into, I wanna be there to help you. And if there's any way that I can teach you something and you wanna learn something, I'm all about it, let's go.